On the streets of Frisco, yet another no snow day. There's plenty of sunshine here in the high country and lots of people around, but no champagne powder yet. It absolutely affects business. At retail shops in Fresco, everyone agrees on what's needed. Snow. We need snow. At ski rental shops, racks of skis and boots lined up waiting for renters. Some have found snow. So go ahead and stand up. At Winter Park, where we skied, I think a total of five runs open. Uh, so limited skiing, but what was available was really good. We came out here in March last year and it was god awful. I went to Vail and like half of the mountain was open, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. Lake Dillon and other reservoirs were emptied by last summer's fires around the state, and a quick look at any of the vistas will show there is no snow. It affects everything. It's a trickle-down effect. While brick-and-mortar businesses are suffering, so are ones linked directly to gliding and sliding. I mean, Colorado, you know, it's very rare, two seasons in a row, where it's, it's, it's uh, subpar. Fun seekers up here, adjusting sports of choice. No skiing? Let's bike or do some fly fishing. Even with no snow, Colorado Ski Country says conditions have to get better. If you're going to go out and go ski, which we hope you do, you're not going to have a big powder day, but you are going to have some mild temperatures, you're going to have some sunny skies. This snowpack map reflects where we were last year on November 29th, 43 percent, and that's exactly where we are this year as well. Still, it's all about the snow. To not have um, a season like last year would be fantastic. With only half of the state ski resorts open, everyone agrees on what's needed, snow and lots of it, before the holidays roll around. At Loveland, John Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.